Welcome to another Warframe video. Today we're going to be looking at a Rhino build. This is the Ironclad Charge build meant for a high sustain and endurance runs. Uh, so first of all, let's get into why my power strength is so low. First of all, we want to have low power strength because Ironclad Charge will increase my armor rating by 50% for 10 seconds. Now since I have a little bit over 100%, I'm going to have it for like 12 seconds. Maybe that's about it. And um... That 12 seconds is going to infuse into our iron skin, which will allow us to, well, pull off a, uh, a tankier build. So, uh, if I were to go to this build right here, my ironclad charge would only last for 0.2 seconds. Now, if I were in here, it's going to last for about 12.1 seconds. So, we're going to show you how this can uh, easily just be stacked upon and we're going to show you his sustain just charging through enemies now of course you have a very very uh low range to go and work with so uh, first of all it's one enemy you can only charge through right so or you can only charge them one time which is the issue with this build is that you have negative range so we'd have to you know rather go negative strength or negative efficiency which means we can't charge and pull off iron skin so I'm going to show you a little a uh, little thing you can see it just goes straight into my armor you're going to see my abilities I have 17,000 ferrite armor I can cast upon <clears throat> 217 and then we can do some of killing you feel like it just just kill him if you want but you're gonna end up you're gonna see that you have a substantial amount of tankiness going into your build while being able to do a good amount of CC. Uh, another weapon that I suggest to use with this build is the Ferox. The Ferox is all about, you know, tethering enemies and keeping them on the floor and you know stuff like that. And if you can, I feel I think there's a mod that you can be able to put on. Uh, it can increase your range, and if if you can't, it's whatever. But if you can't if you can't increase your range, which I yeah I don't think so. But if you can, you can use the Ferox to tighten the group up of enemies. So I'm gonna show you here. You cannot let them escape whatsoever. Let them kind of group up in the middle there. They're gonna all group up. You'll be able to get like 540. So that's 25,000 ferrite armor that you get to use there. And, you know, kind of just grouping them up with the ferox will, you know, allow you to get sustain off. But, that's about it. I'm not going to promise you too much with this build. I'm going to tell you that, you know, grouping them up like that. Charging in them, getting that ironclad charge in there, and then popping iron skin will allow you to become substantially just tankier overall. Now, for good reason, I'm going to tell you that it is not the best. It is, there's plenty of other abilities that allow you to sustain longer which is like a Naros's whole kit first of all allows him to sustain Nidus Nidus's hold kit will allow him to sustain longer and you know I feel like Rhino is just out of the meta because Naja can do the same thing but he can also heal his teammates all right not heal but he can do it to his teammates for 50 percent which allows him to also be a very mobile and tanky he won't he doesn't do that much damage but <clears throat> So I don't I if you want to go long endurance runs you have to use kind of a setup I'm using here, uh, one that can kind of tighten a group of enemies up and then you can kind of punish them. That's about it. I'm I'm not gonna promise you a lot. <clears throat> uh, one one kind of setup you can use 
is you can also uh, rhino stomp. If you can rhino stomp, you're able to uh, pull off that damage. Or if you can roar, you can have that increase of damage. So, uh, one thing I have, I'm going to show you here is we're going to, you know, tighten the group of enemies up by the Ferox. We're going to tighten the group of enemies up. Get a roar. Get that 868% armor. We're going to see we have 36,000 ferrite armor. And we still have that roar, so we can, you know, use our Atarax to kind of increase the damage. So yeah, we have 36,000 ferret armor. Uh, now, now we're back down to 6,000. But as you can see, the build can kind of work out, and a uh, we can one charge him. You'll you'll be able to have a pretty meta build. The only problem is you won't be able to refresh your iron skin, and that's the biggest issue of them all. But you don't have to worry about it too much. out get an insane amount of armor get some quick melees off there and be able to get those red shirts off you'll have that roar have that that amazing amount of iron skin you'll have you'll be able to just completely demolish enemies now you are very energy hungry in this build so but bam there you go an insane amount of tankiness while doing a good amount of damage this is a rhino in a nutshell and he synergizes really well with weapons and can tank in his whole entire kit. And that uh, ironclad charge can allow him to kind of synergize with more abilities. And that's that weapons and weapon kits and stuff like that. Overall, that's just a rhino build. We'll do one more test uh, to kind of satisfy you guys. And um, I'm going to show you a, a secondary weapon that uh, can also synergize with rhino a lot. The Sickers Prime it is a very, very powerful weapon. Uh, it is probably one of the best secondaries ever since it got buffed. If you remember the days where the, that thing was ass versus now where it's super good it's just it's unbelievable how much the sicker has changed so first of all we're going to do the, the basic you want to use the ferox with this build tighten those enemies up and then charge i only got two out of there and then uh we roar and then we go into the kill. As you can see, the Sycharis just absolutely destroys with that 100% damage buff. And I get, I still get to stay very tanky. You also get to throw enemies off the map. Uh, so, you want to use this build, you can go ahead and use this build. It's a very good build, and I do recommend it for those Rhino players. You don't even need a... Uh... Well, I guess Rhino Prime would be pretty good. Uh, considering I think he does he has a little bit more armor if he doesn't have more armor we'll quickly check that out before we end the video uh, yeah he has a substantial amount of armor uh, so you want to use Rhino Prime with this build but if you don't 
it's whatever you can use regular Rhino, but it, this build works so much better with Rhino Prime. So even if you had a, uh, you know, 270% uh, power strength, you're still not going to have that immense amount of uh, armor that this build can give you. So you have to tighten the enemies up with the Ferox, charge, charge in, get that armor. Uh, get that armor boost, then pop your iron skin, and uh, then pop your roar, and just go to town on them, and you will have a very nice, n nice synergized build with you. I totally recommend it. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, and possibly subscribe, and make my day. Peace out.